Hey guys, good evening and welcome to my exciting channel. We're discussing Mandela effects and other like. Thanks for joining in tonight. Welcome all Mandela effectings. Hey, I, I want to um, shed some light to the Mandela effect. And I have a couple of special guests uh, on the line here. Uh, one is Teresa Lynch. The other one is Ty. Ty, go ahead and uh, introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about what you know about the Mandela effect. What, what have you discovered? Well, I came across the Mandela effect almost completely by accident, as I'm sure most people have. I was just going through some things that, uh, just uh, some Bible verses, ironically, just some Bible verses, and I, and I thought to myself that the Bible verses were, it didn't sound right. It didn't sound right. And I went back, and I actually, I asked my wife, and my wife said, no, that does, that doesn't sound right. And it was, ironically, it was Matthew chapter 7, the judge not lest you be judged. And now the verse doesn't say, judge not, lest you be judged. And when I went through everything, it's a very simple verse, and when I went through everything, I couldn't find any proof of judge not, lest you be judged anywhere. You know, what the verse says now is, judge not, that you be not judged. Judge not, that you be not judged. That's right. That's what it says now. Yeah. Right. Now, the bigger thing is that, believe it or not, every, as it gets worse and worse and worse, but every verse... I mean, I, it, seems, it seems that uh, from every book, um, just scratch that, scratch that. It, it, it's something that when, in some Bibles I found that every every first word of every chapter is completely capitalized, but not in every Bible, but in a lot of the Bibles I've never seen it before, where every verse, excuse me, every word of the first of the first, uh, every first word of each chapter is completely capitalized. So if the word was uh, James, it would be capital J-A-M-E-S. So it, I, I've never seen that before either. But it would be something that you know, I, I would have I would have noticed. And yes, that's and something that I, I think has flip-flopped a couple of times as well. Yeah, and, and another thing, I, I've noticed Matthew eleven fifteen. Um, the part where it says, he who has the eyes to see, let him see, and he who has the ears to hear, let him hear. That part completely disappeared, and now it's just the ears to hear, let him hear. Right. That that one made right. me turn white as a ghost, and so did the word trespasses. You, do you recall trespasses being the way it is now? Yes, there's so many. There's so many changes now that it's hard to find. The thing that really gets me is that I try to find someone there to agree with me, and the people who should agree with me, people that know that they've read their Bibles over and over again, don't agree with me. They think the person is always. Yeah, hey, hey, Ty. Ty, you, Ty, you still there? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Ty, um, there's another guest on the line, uh, Mr. Hefner, Tom? Yes. Hey, how Tom, doing, how sir? you doing? Uh, welcome aboard. Um, I hope you don't mind. I, I do have to tell you that we are recording and this is, this is, uh, we're going on YouTube. Is, is that okay, okay with sure. you? Are you, are you cool with that? Oh, absolutely. And I definitely, I definitely like, um, everyone's input here, um, as to what woke you up. We're talking about what woke us up to the Mandela effect. And we're also oh, talking, yeah. we're talking about, uh, dis discussing Bible things. Ty was speaking about that. And he, and, uh, so, so, uh, Ty, go ahead. Continue what you were saying. The big thing was I couldn't get anybody to agree with me. The verses had changed, and I thought, I'm, I'm just alone. I, I can't believe it. But thankfully, my wife saw the same thing I did. And then when I went online, and I found other people that believed the same, and I couldn't believe it. There's all these people that said, yeah, this is, this is, there's a change. But when I went to the people that I thought would believe what I believed, I could not find even one. Even one, I said that. I thought that was really, really strange because it was just me oh. and me, just like you would have about the JFK or the Louis Anderson uh, being dead. Same thing. They just flat out did not. They just flat out rejected it and could not see it. They were nice. They weren't mean. They weren't mean. They were. They were nice to me, but they were like, "I'm sorry, you're mistaken." Yeah, I, I think. Do you guys agree? I think a lot of people in this reality, they're kind of ignorant and they get irritated easily. Am I right? I think, it's worse. I think it's a lot worse than that. Yeah, absolutely. They don't want to hear that you're great. But some some people, oh. some people that have the, especially Teresa knows this, the people that have the M on their hand, 
Uh, they're yeah. more empathetic. and uh, They're empaths. Yes. The one that I've woken up has the M on their hands, just like me. I don't know if you guys look at your hands or not. Can you confirm if you have an M or not? If you want to try to describe it to them, Brian, what I'm talking about? Um, well, yeah, well, you know those, that. you know those three little lines that that go on your hand. One of them is kind of curved. Well, sometimes, um, actually, you know, I'm looking at my hand. I do have the little part that comes down. Um, it makes it look like an M. Um, I don't know if you guys are seeing this out there. Um, if um, it just means you, you you're the palm of the hand in the palm of your hand. Yeah. Do you know about that, Tom? No, I have no idea. It's yeah, look, look at your hand. Look at the palm of your hand. See if you have the M on your hand, either hand. Uh, let me check the other one. It looks like an M. Like, if you look at the lines, you can literally see an M. Whether it's upside down, sideways, you can literally see an M. If you look that at it. Some you, lines, right? Yeah, yeah. The, right. Three, the three... What, what, Teresa, what, Teresa, what Teresa is referring to is something in, in palmistry. In palmistry, and... Uh, I, I did not grasp this in the beginning because, of course, my Christian background, but I, I'm aware of it because, of course, my Christian background, you got to be aware of it. But what it is is that in the field of parapsychology, you understand, or, or paranormal, there are people that are considered empaths, okay? All psychics are empaths, but not all empaths are psychics. Make, it, make sense? Is that the making of Yeah, that makes and sense. All, all the most, the strongest of the empaths, the most gifted of them, has M's are said or reported to have M's on the lines of their hands. They form an M. And ironically, Teresa has stumbled across, just as I have, they have stumbled across, across people who will see the Mandela effect, ironically have M's on their hands. And they're all empaths. Yes, yes, I, I've noticed that. And, and uh, before somebody even brought up the video, I, I remember Teresa was telling me about that. Uh, there have been numerous videos made about it. Um, yeah, and she, she, she is correct. It does, now, it doesn't have to fit 100%. No. But it's 95% of the time, yeah, they're in that. That's what they are. And, and it, people who, who are more empathetic, they, they, have more, they, and, they understand emotions better. Exactly. They, and, they're, they, they, yeah. and us empaths, we tend to be more open-minded. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, the open-mindedness, I totally agree with that. Yes. It is as if not not to be so PC, but yeah, open mindedness. Yeah, they're, they're more understanding. They seem to be more understanding. So so basically, so that's, that's it, better. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so the basically the veil for us has been lifted, and we're trying to help the rest of the world see things, um, not yeah, the way we see that, things, but the way it used to be, the way right. the way reality used to be. Uh, a huge Mandela effect for me was the uh, fruit of the loom. How many people remember the Fruit of the Loom having that cornucopia? I know I do. Well, yeah, that was like, yeah, yeah exactly. Of course. Yeah, always. Yeah, always. Yeah, uh, and of course, the big ones are JFK. Yep. Of course. The Lindbergh yeah. Baby. The Lindbergh Baby was big for, for me. Lindbergh Baby, you said? Uh, yeah, Lindbergh Baby, JFK, and any other ones you want to throw in there, these are big ones. Yes. Uh, go ahead and elaborate uh, for folks about the uh, Lindbergh Baby, if you don't mind. Ty, you well, there? Redenbacher, I just found that out a couple of days ago. That, that definitely. Yes. Oh my God. Showed, that I showed that to my son. You know, he's like kind of borderline. But then the other day, I showed it to him. He looked <laughs> at. I saw his facial expression. I said, "Bang! I got gotcha, you." What, was he? Was he white he, as a ghost? Was he white as a ghost? Huh? Was he white as a ghost? Because some people it scares them. Like seriously, yeah. like when they when they see things different than what they remember, it kind of scares them a little bit. Am I right? Yeah, exactly. You, you, yeah. you read their face, you know. You you either sure. sound you either sound to them almost like a doomsayer or or something like that, or or end of the world speaker, or uh, or like a uh, what do they call those people? Uh, end times. Uh, doomsday no. Prophet, maybe. Yeah, yeah, something like that. But I was thinking more along the lines of uh, like a somebody that goes against the norm and thinks everything uh, like nine oh, eleven is a like scheme and and. Rebellious or whatever. No, it's a. A conspiracy. Not. Conspiracy. That's what yeah, I meant. Like yes. Thank you. Work. Yeah. Uh, the thing is that I, that, that, like I try to point out to people, it's not that I'm, I'm big into the Mandela effect. I'm, I'm not big into the Mandela effect. I wish I didn't see it. I wish it wasn't 
this way. The problem is I can't not see it. Yeah. That's the problem. I know. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. That's right. But, I, I, and, the, and the strange thing that I find, the strange, uh, the strange anomaly that I find with people is the fact when you talk to them, they blink at you like a deer in the headlight look. <laughs> and they just don't, they're just there's nothing there. You can wave your hand in front of their face. They they just don't they don't well, get it. They're like they're, they exactly. don't. They, they, Tom they're, like, they're, Tom, uh, well Ty, let me ask let me ask all of you. When do you think? Uh, when do you believe the earliest shift happened? Do you got when was the earliest shift to you guys? You, do you think 2012? You think? I think that had something to do I with. I think it had to be 2012. I, 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 if I were to guess, I would say 2012 would be it, only because uh, that's what I was reading, 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 reading about 2012 before I ever knew about the Mandela effect. The earliest Mandela effect for me personally was 2016, but uh, as I was reading, I, I could read back to about 2012, even though people that I've met personally or that I've talked to personally have only gone far, far as back as 2015. Yeah, well, you you want to know something else that I found that was really weird? I asked Siri, um, I think this was back in 2012 or 2011. I said, there was this question that you could pose to Siri. Uh, she would say, uh, the opening of the gates of hell. It was uh, July of, uh, it was 2014. Uh, <laughs> how would Siri know the answer to that? That's what I'm saying. I think Apple has Apple and other companies. They know about what's happening, and, and they're they're partially behind it, or they know about well, it. Well, you, you know, know when they do Google Trends. Sorry, but when they did the Google Trends sure. in two thousand nine January is when the uh, the uh, blind lay down lamb got switched to wolf, and there was a lot of other changes that happened right now. Oh wow! The same time we did the Google Google Trends, and then yeah, when the thing bears. Yeah, can that was another big thing. Yes. Can I ask a question? Yeah, yeah, yeah go right ahead. Did, did Ty and, I'm sorry, what's your name, sir? The other, the other Tom, guy? Tom yeah, Hefner. Tom. Was he aware Tom. of the, um, oh, Tom? Yeah. Yeah, Tom's on the were line. You, were you and Ty aware of the um, literature that Stern put out, basically throwing the Mandela in our face? Um, Are you Brian, talking about, you that on that about that bad side? About that, about that form they were handing out which had all the Mandela stuff already on it yeah didn't it yeah, didn't yeah tell them about that about that form yeah it's it's a pdf you you can actually download it on cern's i think from cern's website or from one of those sub sites you can download the the pdf and it basically has little pictures uh like children's looking pictures of uh has like the mirror mirror on the wall picture it has, uh, I think, some Alice in Wonderland stuff, and and uh, what it had. What else did you notice was on there? The, um, I think the Star Wars thing. Oh yeah. Like the Luke of your father. Oh yeah. Yeah, those, those like things. Like in our face. Yeah, those things. Uh, the Star Wars, the Bernstein Bears, those things. I wasn't really concerned about because, like I said, once I found Lorenberg Baby and JFK, there was no going back. I know what those are, and everything else. You know, even the, uh, what is it, the uh, Jiffy Peanut Butter? Yes. Uh, in, yes. Oh, yeah. The residuals involved with the Jiffy oh, Sandwich. With the $10,000 pyramid show, they had that residual. That was awesome. Yeah. Which is, which is just those type of things. Those are so small. But the Lindbergh yeah. Baby and JFK, those are huge. You can, and like, yeah, you know, can, you, can you explain? You know, that they were passed away, like Louis Anderson and like uh, Ed Asner that was passed away. Yeah, uh, of course. Gene Wilder was passed away. As you Billy Graham. Billy Graham. Yeah, I heard Bill, about Billy Graham. Yeah. Billy Graham was CNN, passed away. They even had proof on CNN. They showed a funeral. No, Billy Graham. I know that Billy Graham passed away because on my other Facebook, what I had to do is I had to disassociate. I had to shut down my other Facebook to start another Facebook because I, I just didn't feel comfortable. I was an admin in several groups, Bible groups, and I and I quit. I said I can't do this because the verses have changed. That's how much the verses have changed. I couldn't oh, even yeah. follow. I couldn't even follow. This goes far beyond lying in the lamb. This goes far beyond just Oh yeah. yeah. I couldn't even keep up with it. The verses are scary. There's so many, but I don't want to bore you to tears. Oh, I don't want to do that. So I know. To make a long story short, I quit, 
and I and I and I and I, I started another Facebook page, and I and I got into with other people to see if I could find somebody that believed what I believed or saw what I saw, and of course I did. One of the things, though, that I found with the Mandela effect very very important is that. There are people that believe in the Mandela effect that do not share the same memories that you do. They almost exactly almost like they share different memories from another reality. And that's, that's what the Mandela effect go crazy is that they'll say, "Well, Ed Asner's alive. I know he does. He's alive, but I know that that JFK had four seats, not six. So he believes in the four seats, but he believes that Ed Asner's alive. So in effect, he doesn't believe everything that you believe." He believes in the Mandela effect just like you do, but it's a little bit different than the, what you believe. Those people exactly. in, group, in groups on Facebook and the like, they tend to fight with each other trying to, uh, you know, prove things to each other. And, and that's nonsense. There's, you don't have to no. prove anything. That's what you believe. Yeah. You know, with, with, the quantum, with the quantum effect, you're absolutely right. There's people who believe who have a different timeline of what they experience from other Correct. people. And that's just the way it is. It it deals with the uh, you know multi dimensional universe, and um, yeah. just right. you have a different experience. And I hate to say this phrase because it goes against you know the absolutes, but you know everybody experiences something different, and they're all correct. Ed Asner yeah. was dead. Ed Asner right. is alive. Right. Everybody's right. right. That, that, you know that takes into the possibility that everything's already happened. I'm not one of those people that believe that everything's already happened, and that's okay. But I, yeah. when you get down to the nitty gritty of it, I believe that it has to be emerging of realities. And the trouble is, is that I believe it's emerging of more than one reality. It has to be because if it were some sort of glitch, like in a matrix type thing, where the right. timeline flip, we would not have residuals. Because we have residuals, it has to be emerging of timelines. Yeah, you're is, absolutely right. That makes question, absolute the, sense. You're right on the right is, track. Does that mean, and I, I, I mean, I'm a, I'm a sci-fi fan as much as the next person, but I'm not a geek. And I know that the question remains, am I from this reality or am I not from this reality? And i sorry to say, I don't think I am. I think that, I, or, you know, I don't think that I'm and from this main reality. I don't think I am because the question remains, why do I remember something different? Because physically, physically, I'm from this reality. That is, people who believe in the Mandela effect, people that believe in the quantum effect, know that their anatomy has changed. Know that yeah. in science, oh. their anatomy has changed. Like I said, there's the bones behind their eyes now. I know. Oh, well, you, well, what about the, what, the one with the six holes in her head? When I saw, like, we got six holes in the head, I said, I need this like a hole in the head, you know? <laughs> exactly. 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 But that means physically we've changed, but what, physically we've changed, but spiritually we haven't, psychic, uh, uh, our mentality is something we remember, that doesn't, it what? doesn't even make any sense. No, your so soul, your soul, your spirit is not of this world. I mean, you that, know, that, and that's that, just, And that makes ahead. us a whole nother basket of crazy now, doesn't it? I can't, I can't walk into any doctor's office anywhere in this country and say that. They lock me up. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. How many? Changed. Let me ask you this, guys. How many of you walk in the grocery store and you, and and uh, you think people oh, are looking at people? Look, pe you think people are looking at you weird because you're you're like sitting there staring at these logos, these company logos on the boxes and stuff. How many how many times you get that? <laughs> oh, it's like the greatest obsession. I have to admit, I I'm like hopelessly obsessed with the Mandela effect. I get up in the morning, you know. I come uh -huh. out to work, you know, I do service calls on copy machine. Yeah. You know, I got a hot spot. I turn on, you know, the YouTube. I look for the newest post. And of course, Brian, you're like totally awesome. Because Thanks, man. I always, you, you, you crank them out like, like, like hot cakes. And it's great because I get like a new wow every day, you know? I yeah. look forward to it every day. I'm sorry, but I enjoy the effects. And it's just the way it is. I mean, you know, it's like, I look forward to like new stuff every day, you know. Here, here's well, I, here's I, one. I, I, I'm, oh. I, I I used to be like that. I know Teresa was like that for a while. Where they're looking for new effects, new effects. But now we're to the point of we're looking for the reasons why. why that's right. Yeah, that's true too. I can't, I can't help but think 
that there's a greater reason, there's a purpose behind it. And yeah. I, I gotta say, guys, Tom, Brian, Teresa, our numbers are so small. There's, there's, I, I can, I can find only a handful of people that actually agree with me. And if that's the same worldwide, why there has to be a reason behind it? No, and, and the mean, other I'm question talking. is, the other question is, why aren't they mentioning this in the news? That's what I'm saying. They're keeping it hush hush. Oh, you know, I, I mean, they're so, they're, we're such a small number. We don't even, I don't even think we number uh, in, into a, a percent, the one percent. Well, you know, it's Sid Roth, the Supernaturally show. You yeah. know, I try to, like, just make, you know, I try to email them and let them know about it, you know, but, and they're into all the supernatural stuff. I mean, Mandela Effect be right down the lane, but I never get they a response. Right, so they don't respond. Right. They're not into no. the Mandela Effect. Strange, isn't it? You would think yeah. that the people would be very, very strange, and uh, just the same. Again, you would think the people that would be into it, you can't make them see it. If they don't see it, they don't see it. That's the way that it works. The, the exactly. strange, the strange thing that does happen though is you do have people time and time again agree with you. Oh yes, yes, I I know there was uh, four people in the JFK car, not six. And then the next time you see them, they're thoroughly convinced that there were six people. Like you never talked to them. Like you never talked to them before, and they don't want to bring up the subject. Yeah, so a lot of people think that's the matrix, the matrix effect, which of course I don't subscribe to. But it is the deer in the headlight look that you get, and people are more comfortable almost well, believing the lie than it is to, to, to see the truth. And here's the other thing too: how many of you guys like? There's there's very many hard hitters like like. The take me out to the ball game, take me out to the crowd was a definitely that was a ball hitter. I like to call it the, these uh, you can get a home run off these Mandela effects. However, there are some Mandela effects that only affect certain people. How how do you explain that? Like, I find that so no, weird. Like Pikachu's that's, tail. No, that's that's very simple. It's because the lowest common denominator goes to the greatest number of people. Simple enough. Yes, it's, yes. It's like, it's like Fruit of the Loom. It's a, it's a logo. People recognize it. I think things are changing right. on the smallest levels, and less people notice them. Larger things uh, happen, and, and more people recognize them. But when you throw in the different realities, you have conflicting opinions, and people argue over whether or not Fruit of the Loom had a loom or not. Yeah. Do you, see, do you, do you see what I'm saying? Or had a, I'm sorry. Exactly. And that's what you have. You have people arguing with each other because they don't understand that they're different realities. I see also people begging each other to agree with them because they need somebody to, to say that they see what they see so they can think that they're not crazy. That's but right. They're not crazy, but they, they need that. They need someone to tell them that they're not crazy. Because I know. I know. With, with my wife and stuff, my wife totally thinks it's absolutely occultic and I'm totally so unrealistic and stuff. So, you I'm know. Sorry. With her, I just pretend it doesn't exist. I don't bring it up or nothing. You know, is, sorry, is, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it Tom talking? Yeah, it's Tom. Yeah. Uh, Tom, I'm, I'm sorry. My wife actually sees it and it helps me a great deal. However, my wife is a nurse, so she really goes through it at work because everything has changed. She says, wow. not, not only has it changed here, and I'm in here, she has all the hard copies that changed, so the, the, the machines have changed. The way you do things, it changes. It's a whole new way of doing things now. Mm -hmm. I said, you're kidding. Wow. Just, I'm not kidding. And she's a charge nurse. So she has, to, she has to be honest. So she had to go and relearn that stuff quietly and quickly so she could, you know, do her job. So, I mean, this is, and that's a serious thing. So um, I, I, I did try. I do try to talk to people, but I'm not. I, I did talk to a couple of uh, religious people that came to the door the other day, and they were absolutely shocked. And they, I told them about the quantum effect, and I didn't call it the quantum effect. They said that they had never heard it before. And these people were, the, the one fellow was in his 60s, and one fellow was in his 30s, and didn't hear of it before. And this is not a new thing. Like you said, the Mandela effect has been, at least in pop culture, at least since 2014. And these people have right. never heard anything about it. So I, I think the well, numbers. I think our numbers are very, very small. Do you guys think? I mean, do you think that Nibiru could be possibly causing it, um, or, or maybe do you think Nibiru was a psyop to get people to search and to look 
because that's how I actually ran into the Mandela effect myself. I was. It can't be a sign up. It can't be a sign up because a sign up can only control what's maybe on the internet or what's on the newspaper, but it cannot control my hard copies that I have here or my audio hard copies and my hard copies have changed as well. Yes, oh. that that is true, and and I, you know, I praise people like you who actually were the four the 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 founders, who I mean, who basically found these Mandela effects before a lot of other people did, and you know, it, it just well, it just came clear to you. I think I got crazy and gone, oh, I can't believe it, and I, you know, I, I tried, and, and you know, I second guessed myself and second, and I said, no, I, I know what I know, I know what I know, I know what it is. And uh, that, that is the, that's the problem. That's the thing with the Vidal effect. You know, you, you have to remember that your memory, your mind, is 100% sharp. That's just the way it is. Because I believe that the enemy has come in to use this to create confusion, to slam the different realities together, different worlds. Yeah, I, I don't it, it doesn't help, that's for sure. But I, I don't drink. I don't. I don't do drums. I don't take any prescriptions. I take aspirin. That's about no, it. No, you're, no that's you know, all I'm saying. But the thing you is that got, other people would got, be so adult that they wouldn't trust their memory. No, but you gotta trust your own memory because yeah. you know you are pretty sharp. I mean, everybody's got a memory sharp, but this kind of stuff will make you doubt yourself, doubt your memory, and then if you start doubting that, you doubt the Bible, you doubt the. Well, I did, have a personal, I did have a personal experience that was very strange, okay? And Teresa has some of these, I have some of these, and these are the things that really make you go, what's going on? I talked to a friend that I hadn't talked to in maybe 25 years. We're having a reunion, we're getting together. I get him on the phone, and he asked, of course, the standard question, how's the family? I said, well, my mother's alive, my father's alive. And he goes, well, I know your older brother's, that, that I know that your, uh, your older brother's dead, and, and your little brother has passed. And I said, no, my little brother's alive. And he says, what? And I said, no, he's alive. And he was confused for a minute. And then that like deer in the head like this over the phone. He stopped. He corrected himself. He goes, well, okay. And then he goes, I remember what you said. And then he, he went to a memory and he started talking about how I was talking at a friend's funeral. And he said, I remember what you said at Kathy's funeral. And I said, I stopped him short, and I said, I was not at Kathy's funeral. Oh, my and gosh. He, he collected wow. himself, and I said, what's going on? So I think on the flip side, perhaps more things have changed than even we know. It's like a tip of the iceberg. And this I firmly believe it's a tip of the iceberg. We're only seeing the 10% above the surface, but 90% has been changed, and we don't now, know about it. Is it possible? Is it? Is it? Theoretically possible. Okay. Uh, people have asked me before, do, will your handwriting change? Will your tracings change? Uh, is it possible that your tracings will not change? That's true. But but then again, well, your your experiences are still you. Remember that you are still you inside. Mm -hmm. But physically, as Teresa will tell you, the physical pain that we go through. I have, I have physical pain now in my shoulders. I, mm -hmm. I, 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 it's not, I don't feel the same as I have. I've been in great health all my life. And people in the, that experience the colon effect are complaining about migraines. They're complaining about earaches. They're complaining about all sorts of stuff. Tonight they swear yep. they never had before. Are you guys hearing the screeching, uh, Brian? Tell them, remember like the other day? The ear thing's asking about those, you know, the ear. Yeah, did you guys, did you guys, now before, it's funny that Teresa mentioned this because um, I was, I was actually, I was actually on break. It was about two, I go to break around two or two thirty between that time frame every day. And I just happened to look down at my phone. I, my, I was having the earring thing going on and so did Teresa. She mentions it to me in a text. She said, did you notice the earring thing going on? So I'm just wondering if you guys have experienced this. It's like a buzzing or like a ringing in your ears. Okay. Right. Well, my, wife, my wife had a nasty ring a few days ago. I mean, she never complained about it. And she was hearing all this ringing. I said, okay. We're, I said to myself, we're going to be having a lot of effects coming out on the carpet. And I even <laughs> heard some ringing, too. And she don't like the loud music at all. So I know it's not that typical ear uh, ringing sound, you know? No, no, I don't think so. Now, I also believe, as Teresa will tell you too, 
Tom, I don't know if you've experienced this, but I have seen in the last years 